Are we getting a better netcode for Mortal Kombat X? Let's talk about it. What's up, my peeps? It's the turtle smashing, dragon punching, titan smashing, zombie blasting, race car drifting, multiplayer butt whipping, the collector of coins, rings, looms, rupees, and tanukis. I got food for self, emeralds for wealth, and med packs for health. I got the double jumps, turbo boost, time freezes, and invincibility. Leveled up all of my abilities. I run Vice City and made the Mushroom Kingdom better. And I am the first human specter. This is Mastermind, and welcome back. What's going on, peeps? Mastermind here. Okay, so Ed Boon, what can I say about this guy? This guy, he, in my opinion, is one of the most passionate people in the video game industry. He really knows how to get his fans worked up over his game. Uh, he comes into this with always with this smile on his face. Anytime uh, the people are, you know, any of us are craving a new Mortal Kombat game, and Ed Boon starts to you know show his face with that smile and that those thick eyebrows and anytime he shows up i'm like yes you know I'm, I'm i'm ready give it to me man and um mortal kombat x is no different i was very hyped so as many of us very hyped for for mkx the combat pack 2 trailer has now shown i did a quick little breakdown on it and you know a lot of hype going behind Mortal Kombat X, which is a big deal for them because Street Fighter V is right around the corner. Killer Instinct Season Three is right around the corner, and you know fighting games are really uh, doing it big. 2015 was a big year for fighting games, uh, but uh, 2016 is going to be an even bigger year, and it's going to be great. So, what did he do on his Twitter? Uh, I'm going to put it up on the screen. He put a. Uh, this he put uh, so much more good news on the horizon for Mortal Kombat X game beyond Combat Pack 2. Stay tuned and peace out. If you notice, the things that are all in caps is good game peace out. Now, for those who don't know, and I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but good game peace out is GGPO. That's what that's what it stands for. Good game peace out. And it's a middleware design to uh, help create almost a lag-free online playing experience. Now, I don't want to talk about that so much. I want to talk about the fact that, is this too late? Is it too little too late? Now, when Mortal Kombat X was initially being released and talked about, I was looking online for any kind of bit of information I can find, any kind of news about it. Uh, I was, I was just on top of it. And one of the things that I kind of thought that they weren't talking too much about was the netcode. And anytime it came up with any of the uh, the guys, it was like, oh yeah, yeah, we're working on it, and we're gonna make this the best experience that you know, best playing MK that we ever did, and we learned from our mistakes and. But it wasn't something that they were really talking too much about. Uh, other than I think one time where I think in one of their streams they said that they were going to make this the best uh, online experience for Mortal Kombat ever. Just what they were doing with the challenge towers and just what they were doing with 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 everything. They wanted to really make this, you know, and of course the um, the factions. They really wanted to make this something that people wanted to take online. And when the game finally came out, it was a huge letdown as far as the netcode was concerned. In fact, I gave it a chance and I even said, look, you know, the game just came out. They didn't run a beta. So let's just give it a couple of weeks to see how it ends up. And a couple of weeks turned into a couple of months. A couple of months turned into quite a few months. And here we are. And they're talking about the combat pack, too. And... As cool as I think the characters are and the new stage and some of the stuff that they're adding, how hype am I really about this game? I mean, the netcode, I'm just not hyped because the netcode is garbage. And I know, you know, you, you have your MK fanboys who say, oh, well, it's not that bad if you do this and you do that and, you know, you get this router and you... Nobody got time for that shit. I mean, either your netcode game, either your online stuff is working or it's not and if it's half-assed compared to what 
we have with other games, including Killer Instinct, which has a much lower and smaller budget than Mortal Kombat, it's unacceptable in my opinion. So now, here's the good news. So, Combat Pack 2 is coming out, Street Fighter 5 is right around the corner, and what, what do they do? They say, hey, GGPO on his Twitter. And now people are going crazy. And that's good news, it's great. But because I kind of stopped playing Mortal Kombat X, I still own it, and, and you know I, I play it casually, very casually, it's not going to hype me back up to the point where I want to even become competitive on it and take it online now. That may end up happening, though. If I start getting back into the game and I like these characters and I start playing online, I might not be able to help myself. It might be just one of these things where I just need to keep playing it because it's fun. Uh, and, and hopefully that'll happen. I, I kind of hope that that happens. But at this point now, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. You figure that this is probably uh, one of the best selling games of 2015 and one of the most anticipated games of 2015, and they let us down again. And there are a lot of people who traded in their game, got rid of it, sold it, because they were so disgusted with the netcode. And to be honest with you, I would have done the same thing. The only difference is I bought mine digitally. I was so invested in the game that I thought, there's no way I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna play it until the next Mortal Kombat game comes out, and I bought it digitally. I seldom ever do that unless I'm totally invested in that game, and I know I'm going to be, and uh, or unless it's just downloadable only. But for the most part, I like to buy my hard copies, and then once you know I I'm done with it, I have something to trade, and I put it towards something else. So I didn't get to do that with Mortal Kombat, but a lot of people have. And now that the Combat Pack 2 is coming out, and I'm, I'm sure I think... Later on today, because I, I know it's Friday, we're supposed to hear some new news uh, regarding that. Um, you know, and there's going to be some Killer Instinct Season 3 news that we're going to probably get this weekend as well with that, uh, with that KI Cup. So uh, there's just a lot of information coming out about the fighting games, and everybody wants to be noticed. And, and of course, Mortal Kombat, they're going to do the same thing. And, and hopefully this is something real, something that they implement, and something that piques the interest of, of, of uh, gamers to go back and play it again, which I'm sure many of us will. Uh, but my question is, should they have launched the game the way, they sh the way that we were expecting, the, the kind of the way that they promised it? They said the, the, the gameplay online was going to be better than Injustice and better than MK9, and it really wasn't. It was a, pretty much a copy and paste of what those two games were online. Is it too late? Are you guys still interested in going back to Mortal Kombat? Or are you just looking to get to, into Street Fighter V and that's it and you're going to move on? I personally feel, in the video game industry in particular, I, I feel this way about movies and music as well, but in particular about the video game industry, if a company isn't delivering what you want them to deliver or what they promise to deliver, you should not support them, whether they're an indie or a major studio. Because what happens is, if let's say like the, the Star Wars Battlefront, it's missing things, people expected more or whatever it is. If they keep selling millions and millions and millions of units, they're gonna ignore a lot of the people who are complaining because really the, the loudest voice that you can give to a company is money. So if they're making money and a lot of money and a lot of money, and the majority of the people who bought it aren't really freaking out or complaining, they're going to keep half-assing it because people are going to support it and buy it anyway. And unfortunately, it's no different with Mortal Kombat X. A lot of people bought it. A lot of people still play it. A lot of people consider this great news, as do I. And if it's great, we'll probably kind of forget. But uh, I think because some people rebelled against this, some people complained, and it was kind of a big deal about the netcode, I think that kind of pushed them to say, okay, now we really have to address it. My thing is they should have done it, done it to begin with, but they didn't. So um, it's not that big of a deal. I really hope that it turns out to be better. But, you know, by this time, a lot of people are already looking forward to the new fighting games. And I'm looking forward to uh, Street Fighter V. 
I will be playing MKX, but it's probably going to be much more on a casual level than what I do for Killer Instinct or what I do for Street Fighter V. Not to say that I'm a pro, but I am a veteran uh, at, at those games, and I am competitive, but Mortal Kombat... If I even put it on to play online like that, it's probably going to be something I go into, get my ass destroyed, <laughs> and then move on. So anyway, what are your thoughts? Don't forget to leave a comment, and of course, like, share, and subscribe. Mastermind out. Until that time, raw rhymes undercover, underground, Danny Glover, undiscovered in my town, but they all blasting y'all, overcasting y'all, how we